All right, I just got home from work. I have cracked a beer because it's been that sort of week, but I am hungry. And so I got a free sample of Cool Beans Spicy Chipotle Plant-Based Wrap. Uh, obviously it's not a burrito, it's a wrap. I'm not really sure what the difference is, but I'm gonna microwave this up to see if it's any good or not, because I mean, it was free, so it can't be that bad, right? Uh, it could be that bad. I've had that bad lately. Okay, the instructions are to microwave for one and a half minutes, flip, microwave for one and a half minutes more, and then enjoy. Let's hope that I enjoy this wrap. And hot flip. Okay, the burrito is done. Wow, that, um, that looks sad. Uh, picking it up, that is not gonna happen. Based on the smell and visual presentation, I'm not so sure about this. Um, I'm sure it's one of the spices, but I, and I couldn't tell you which one it is, but mm, it smells funky. Let's give it a try though. There's a big chunk for you. That's what it looks like inside. What does it taste like though? Hot, it tastes hot. And not like spicy hot, just hot. Final review of the chip, the Cool Bean Spicy Chipotle. This would be good if you didn't microwave it the entire way. The instructions for a crispier version are to microwave it for a minute and a half and then toaster oven or air fry it. <clears throat> I think you get a lot better result out of it that way. Flavor wise, it is surprisingly not bad for corn, black eyed peas, brown rice, chipotle seasoning, and poblano chili peppers, which I suspect is the kind of funky smell I got off of this. Would I buy it again for me to eat? I don't know if I'd go that far, but is it good? Yes, if you like supporting smaller brands that are all veggie and healthy and non-GMO, gluten-free, heat and eat type stuff, yes. So I would give this like a three quarter thumbs up. This isn't bad.